There's a lady and a man right here. There's a lady with like a green dress and flowers on it. There's a man sitting on the end right here. Uh, what is y'all's name? What's your name, ma'am? You. Yes, ma'am. Victoria. Victoria and him? AJ. AJ. Where are y'all from? Uh, North, North Carolina. Carolina. North Carolina. Praise God. Well, I'm glad y'all are here. God is going to do some powerful things to you. Especially what God has already started doing in you, ma'am. The way God has been working in you, showing you things, and the gifts that are already in you, they're going to be boosted up to another level here today. And here's what this has to do with. I see people... I see people that God is going to send to you. These people, are they're not like me. They don't look like me. They don't look like white people. They look like your kind of people. That God is going to start sending to you. That you are going, it may already be happening. God is going to connect you with these people. And you're going to have words of direction for them. But there's going to come a revival in that community of people that's going to start moving into your city. People are going to be coming in. You're going to be a key to it because God has put a special anointing in you to be able to encourage. There's words of prophecy that's in you. Some of the dreams that you've had. Some of the things that God has been showing you for a while. Some of it that you don't understand what it all means. God has given you, when I was talking about that earlier, that probably relates to you. There's some things that you don't understand what all God is doing. But God told me to tell you, he is opening up the realm of dreams for you. And you've been in the realm of dreams. You've, God's given you dreams, but he does with you what he does with a lot of people. He'll seal that up. He'll give you a dream. He won't give you the revelation of it. He'll put a thing in you, and you don't know. What the Lord told me to tell you, you haven't known because the time hasn't been yet. But God said, now the time is coming. And you're going to start having interpretation to your own dreams to understand what God is talking to you about. And there'll be people that you dream about. You already are. You're dreaming about. You don't know who they are. But God said, you'll begin to meet these people. And you'll begin to see these people. And as you pray for them, God said, they will be converted. They will hear your words. And they will be brought to the Lord Jesus. They will be baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. There's a spirit of prayer, incense that's on you that's in your house. And I want to tell you this, is that is that you traffic with several angels that operate, uh, that move in and out of your home, your house. And when you are praying there, whether you have a lot of awareness of this or not, uh, they're going in that community, in that neighborhood, and they're pushing some darkness back. And some of the things that you're praying against, I see areas in that city leaving your house that there's areas where there are people that are involved in things wickedness and the Lord wants me to tell you your prayer when you pray and when you up doing that praying those angels are in spiritual warfare they're going to those city blocks or going to those homes and they're putting a cap and a lid on that darkness the Lord's using you in this way but here's what I want you to know is the enemy wants to put something on your body but I'm going to pray and something's going to come off of you and you're not going to be able to be sick up in here. I see a light shining on you right through here. And there's something going down on the inside of you here that we're going to tell the devil, you're not going to manifest nothing in this woman's body. You're not going to put an illness in her body. Nothing's going to grow in this lady. You're not going to have a disease that's going to get loose. I pray over you right now, lady, in the name of Jesus. I see a big light shining on this woman's stomach. Going all down in her stomach, I see a light, and it looks like it's turning like a tornado. A tornado that's twisting and turning. I think she said her name is Victoria. Victoria, by the authority of the name of Jesus, I declare victory for Victoria. You shall not die prematurely. You shall not have these complications. I see something that's trying to get in your stomach and come up. Something that like catches in you in your breath. Almost like an acid reflux thing that tries to come up in you. And it's an enemy that's trying to stop you. When you're praying at times, this thing tries to become like fatigue on you because you've been in this season of a battle. But the Lord wants me to tell you, all spirits of infirmity are coming out of your body. You're being cleansed. You're being healed. You're being delivered. You're not going to have to spend money at the doctor unnecessarily. 
loose you by the authority of the name of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth with this woman and speak out loud for a moment. told me to tell you, as sure as you're a big man and you wouldn't want to mess with this big man. If I get in a fight, he's on my side. If you mess with me, AJ's got my back. But I want to tell AJ because AJ has come through some rough places where he had to be in tough spaces and, and operate with a tough attitude. But the Lord told me to tell him this. All of the calluses are coming off of your heart that there's a tenderization that's coming in your spirit that you have become as a child before the Lord. The Lord said, tell him if he'll continue to take his guards down, that I will make him a warrior in my kingdom. Even as he was a fighter in the world, I will make him a warrior in my kingdom. Moshaka, Basito, Rakita, Bahaya. I see AJ breaking up fights. I see AJ stepping in the middle of fights. And I see this man stepping in and telling somebody, if you want to mess with somebody, why don't you mess with me? Because you have a bodyguard, armor bearer spirit. And I see you in the world, and I would hate to be the person on the other end of what I'm seeing right now. I wouldn't want to be that guy. I wouldn't want to be the person that's having to have hands come on me by this man. But I'm seeing conflicts. I'm seeing this. I see hostile environment and you being involved in these situations. The Lord told me to tell you, tell him I'm taking that fight out of him and I'm putting the fight of faith in him. But it will not be with a temper. It will not be with his fist anymore. It will be by him operating with the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith. There's a unique ministry you have, AJ, and the Lord is going to give it to you. It is a one-on-one -on -one personal ministry talking to people about the Lord. And the Lord said, there are people that are confided in you and begin to talk with you. And the Lord said, when I draw them to you, you are going to be as a protector to them. You're going to let them know you're safe with me. And the Lord's going to begin to use you and your wife. And I want you two to catch hands right here. I bless your home and your family. I'm, okay, that's okay. That's your sister. Catch your sister's hand. I want to pray. Which one of y'all has the kids? I'm going to pray over the kids. And here's what I want to go back to. Who is mama? Who's your mama? Mama. Mama, I want to tell you something. Your prayers on this daughter and on this son are going to become very powerful. The prayers you prayed for many, many years, they're going to be coming to life right now. It's coming up right now. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to call. I want to lay your hand on your sister's head right here. Reach over, lay your hand on her head. And I want you to make a declaration over her that our family is going to take back everything that was stolen from our parents, from our grandparents, parents, every relationship that went bad, everything that's happened in our home, everything that's happened in our family, we're going all the way back. Mama, I want you to pray over there. I want you to speak it. Come on, Mama, I want you to pray right there. I want you to speak it. There's a healing going in that lady's body right here. Come on, Victoria, open it up and speak it out. We call everything back, everything that the devil stole, everything that the enemy has taken. We call it back in the name of Jesus. something right now. God's releasing him into something right now. There you go. 